okay so there are also some blood vessels in the conjunctiva next uh, coming to the outermost coat so what you see is the outermost coat is actually called as the sclera so the sclera is actually a tough uh, fibrous coat because it is mainly made up of uh, dense collagen fibers and forms the posterior 5/6th of the outer fibrous coat and you call it as the white of the eye what you see anteriorly when you between the palpebral uh, fissure okay so the sclera is actually continuous anteriorly with the cornea and the junction between that area is actually called as the sclero corneal uh, junction there is also a sulcus which is called as the sulcus sclerae okay and it is surrounded by a capsule the sclera is mainly surrounded externally by a capsule the tenon's capsule or the fascia bulbi so here you are able to see that is the uh, tenon's capsule the bulbar fascia okay and between this uh, tenon's capsule and the sclera you have a space which is called as the episcleral space okay so between the sclera and the tenon's capsule and the tenon's capsule separates the sclera from the orbital pad of fat so the sclera receives the insertion of the recti muscles four recti in front of the equator so equator will pass exactly equidistant from the anterior pole to the posterior pole so in the posterior pole you are able to see this area where the optic nerve pierces and uh, that is called as the optic disc so the place where the optic nerve pierces the sclera is actually uh, sleeve like okay, it is actually sleeve like and it is somewhat weak at this area so it receives the four recti and uh, in front of the equator and two oblique muscles behind the equator okay so the space between the tenon's capsule and the sclera is actually called as the episcleral space and of the three coats you are able to see the sclera is the most thickest it is a outer fibrous coat with a dense network of collagen fibers so it mainly is responsible for maintaining the shape of the eye and it also protects the inner two layers that is the choroid and the retina and also it is responsible for maintaining the intraocular pressure okay so internally the sclera is separated from the choroid so with the blood vessels what you are able to see you know lot of blood vessels so that is actually called as the choroid and the both are separated by the perichoroidal space okay so there is a space which is called as the perichoroidal space so the sclera is mainly uh, pierced posteriorly you see what pierces is the optic nerve and uh, within the optic nerve fibers you see the central artery of retina and the central vein of the retina so the, as, as i told you where it pierces the sclera is sieve like and it is called as the lamina cribrosa okay the part of the sclera is somewhat weak because it is pierced with optic nerve fibers and it is called as the uh, lamina cribrosa so this lamina cribrosa in case of increased intraocular pressure when the intraocular pressure rises this actually bulges posteriorly okay and uh, the condition of intraocular pressure is actually called 